What are you saying about your relationship, Brian? That you never really loved Annie? Well, it's come to light that your husband's surgery, among others, was never performed. It's all explained here. There's a major class action lawsuit being filed against a clinic. I was hoping to speak with Mr. Lavery I'm about... I'm sorry, we... Are you telling me my husband can still have children? Yes, Mrs. Lavery. I am. I, I don't know exactly what I'm saying. Well, that's not exactly a ringing endorsement. My, mem my memories of Annie are like visions. They're not, they're not as real as they were with you and with Greenway. Okay, I hate to break it to you, Ryan, but Annie is very real, okay? You you two fell in love. You got married. You I, I, got it, it doesn't on feel like table. any of those things actually happened, all right? They're not visceral. But you remember them. I mean, that's, that's a start. It's just, I'm, I'm telling you, something is different. Hey! Hi, I thought I thought you were uh, at our place. Oh, well, Karina's watching Emma. Hi. Hi, hi. So, um, I, I take it Ryan told you the good news. Yeah, yeah, he remembered you. That's yeah. amazing. I mean, not just me, some very specific parts of me. Hi. <laughs> Things are finally back on track. And why is that? When you are ready to do anything to save your relationship with Ryan. Is this it? Is it over? Well, I think it's amazing. I mean, clearly he saved the best memory for last. That's a nice way to think about it. You didn't have to come all the way down here. I told you I'd get files for you. Oh, that's okay. Wait till you hear, Ryan. We can have a baby. Hey, um, so I thought I would get some food for you and me downstairs. Oh, we'll head out with you. You know what? Don't worry about it. We took separate cars. I'm sure you two need to, you know, discuss the latest on Spike, so... Um, you finish up here. I, I gotta go. Okay, well, I'll, uh... I'll see you at home later. Okay. Okay. All right. No worries. Good place for a breakdown. Get me out of here. I needed help. Nope. Nope. I can help myself just fine. Oh. 
All right, you, you just said that you needed... Kendall. I, I meant that I needed Kendall. No offense. None taken. I, I need um, to talk to you about the latest charm shipment. Right. The Japanese launch? Exactly. Uh, yeah, just minor perfume emergency. Yeah, very subtle. I get it. I'll, uh, I'll take off. Thank you for your help, Kendall. Anytime. All right. Hey, Greenlee. How's Aiden? Oh, he's perfect. He's fabulous. He couldn't be better. You have wedding plans? Everything going great? Wedding of the century. Dress, check. Band, check. Flowers, check. Excited? Check. <laughs> okay. Well, just let me know if you need anything. I will do. Okay. What in the hell was that about? Do you don't have any of those wedding things done? I might not need to. Excuse me? You know how I have this amazing ability to take something great and screw it up? Well, I may or may not have chased my fiancé away. Kendall, I might have screwed up big. Is Emma? She's great. <clears throat> Until she brought up the whole baby brother, baby sister thing again. She, um, she really wants one. Well, there's a pretty good reason why that's not a possibility at this moment. Yeah, of course. Uh, it's just, just hard to explain to a kid. Yeah. You okay? Fine. Fantastic. I mean... You remembered me, you remembered us. It was like the best anniversary present ever. Yeah. One step closer to getting it all back. Well, how about I get us some wine and we celebrate? me to come completely clean with him about the kids issue tell him greenly better now than after the wedding secrets are bad greenly pretty crappy advice so you told aiden and pretty much freaked him out oh he really wants kids that bad huh yeah and he couldn't quite get past the whole ryan disaster do we need drinks with these donuts and i quote you wanted a child with ryan but you don't want one with me ouch truth hurts well did you explain to him that the having whole... Ryan's baby wasn't really about a baby? Yeah. Okay, well, it can't be that bad. Yeah. I think it is, my friend. Well, I'm sure Aiden will get over it. Maybe. Maybe not. Or maybe having kids is a deal breaker for us. Or maybe Aiden never thought of the alternative. Well, he's clearly thinking about it now. All right. Listen. You know what? Really? You did the right thing, okay? You you couldn't walk down the aisle without putting it all out there. Yeah, well, now I may not get down the aisle. Good plan, Kendall. Would you rather be having this conversation after you got married? I don't think so. Okay. You're right. I have to look at this as progress. Exactly. Hmm? Usually when men leave me, they die. Aiden's just walking away. Great progress, huh? Some kids don't mix. I mean, here we go. Another guy, another problem with children, another failure. No, you know what? I don't think it's over at all. Maybe we can't hack the drama. What the drama? Are you kidding me? Hello? Aiden saved you from a bomb shelter. He came back from a, a hostage situation in, in, in Africa to be here for you. You guys can handle a little Ryan Lavery drama. You'd think, wouldn't you? All I'm saying is, Aiden took a huge leap to accept that you were over Ryan. Yeah. He's a real rock star, a real champ, a real Boy Scout boyfriend, but even Prince Charming has its limits. Okay, so the subject comes up again. Work through it. <laughs> it's not that easy. Who knows, maybe I'm just a screw-up. It should never be with men. Is that an offer? You wish. Please. <laughs> My point is... Aiden took a leap. Now it's your turn. 
Have some faith. I'm trying. The one thing that I learned from Zach is that truth is the only answer. Only lies and secrets can really ruin you.